Uh, we are here until 9pm, taking your calls on all of the weekend football. But, of course, we're talking about today's games. And you just heard Eric Ten Hag there uh, in his press conference, very unhappy about the penalty. And once again, Pards, in true Ten Hag style, the best team didn't win. <laughs> no, well, you know, he's... <laughs> He at least is consistent. He is the master of the aftermatch uh, defeat uh, speech, where not really as a lot of long has gone wrong, and um, you know it's uh, there's various uh, reasons, but not much to do with him. <laughs> well, I'll just watch that penalty back. Yeah, right. I think that's a penalty for me. His, his knee, uh, Delitz's knee goes into Ings and he doesn't take any of the ball. Listen, that penalty gets given to me. I'm going for Mourinho. You can put me... For Mourinho, I am going <laughs> no, like... I wish not to talk. No, <laughs> oh, I'm going mental if it's given me against yeah? me in the last minute. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because that ain't a penalty. Why, why, is, you know why, why is it not a penalty? I'll tell you why it's not a penalty. Because firstly, the referee didn't give it, right? Yeah, okay. And we get, and now... But that's what VAR's for, no? Is, is it clear and obvious, that penalty? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to have a look again. So that's why the... it all actually proves to me it's not clear and obvious. Because well, you've seen it three times already. It's not clear and obvious. Well, someone's so gonna, why someone's has Michael Oliver in, the box. in someone... Stockley Park, which is by Heathrow, by the way. I was there this week, so I know exactly where it is. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and Sounds like you were door. camping outside. Yeah, I'm going to go and drive there, knock on the door and say, what are you doing interfering in the 92nd minute? Now, I am a West Ham... I've got love in me for West Ham, right? I'm great. I'm well, show, show, show the camera. I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed for them <laughs> that they won today, right? I'm absolutely chuffed. But Man United can definitely feel um, hard done by with that call. That is never a penalty unless the referee give it and then uh, the uh, VAR come in and go, okay, it's not clear and obvious to actually take it away. You can carry on and give it. But it was the exact opposite. I thought it looked like a penalty. Let me ask what Mark, the Man United fan, thought. I'm sure he thought it probably wasn't. How are we doing, Mark? All right, lads. Um, I, I don't know how anyone can see that as a penalty. Did, uh, you, did you not think he made yeah, contact match with Ken. I thought it? Match can. I thought it was a pen. Well, yeah. I'm, I mean, I know there's a lot of hate for United in the world, but... I, I, no way. Is that no a one in the right mind can look at that and no. think that's a penalty. I mean, the, the thing is, the ref went to look at that. He must have watched it a dozen times, and his backside fell out, didn't it, really? Um, he felt the pressure, the hostility of the crowd and everything going on. I think he just bottled that. Uh, but that's that's not my main issue of the game today. My main issue is United... I, I knew Ten Hag would fall back on the forty-five minute, first 45 minutes and that penalty. I knew he would focus on that. Mm. Because the first 45 minutes, United played outstandingly well simply because West Ham was so poor. They were awful. And... Once again, United have shown that they can't score goals, they can't finish, um, they haven't bought a striker who can fill that void, who can pull the trigger and score as co- goals consistent, consistently like a Nistelroy or someone like that. And I, I, I knew after the first 45 minutes that we would get sucker punched and West Ham would turn up because they couldn't be anywhere near as bad as they were in the first half. And I, I honestly felt like we were going to lose the game because that's United these days. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Um, so I'd, 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 it's the excuses for me. You can almost predict what Ten Hag's going to come out with in the post-match interview, um, and it's it's not good enough. Um, Xerxes not a Premier League striker for me. He's not a, he's not a Premier League player. I think he's he's not good enough. No. Um, he comes on, and he doesn't really do much. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I didn't I didn't expect us to win the game. I thought we would lose after like missing all those chances in the first half. But the, the the penalty thing, just by the by for me, it's just I do, I just think the ref bottled that, and it, but it's a small part of what the issue was within the game for me. Yeah, no, I, I make you right, and you know that 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 stat of only scoring eight goals in nine games at Man United, I mean, it just doesn't add up. You still haven't won in Europe for a year. You know, he come on after the um, the game in the week in Turkey. He was talking about the injury issues that he has, and that really they're not at his door. That's at the medical department. I didn't think that was good for the staff. I don't think that breeds confidence if you're the manager to actually criticise a section of your of your staff. So I can imagine there's some bad feeling there. And then the they get we, we, we had on, that we had that all last season. I mean, yeah. we had that justified reason for injuries and all the medical staff got replaced yeah. so they, it's not it's not good enough it, it's just not good enough and they, they kind of fall back on the well you know three draws in Europe and we're undefeated 
Yeah, the performances are pathetic. It's not. It's just not good enough. We are seven points from the relegation zone, and we are seven points from top four. If we will get battered by Chelsea next weekend, then we could be like four points away from the relegation zone. Then, mm. so at what point do they then pull the trigger and say, do you know what? We need something new here. We need someone coming fresh, like Maresca, who's done an incredible job with those Chelsea players and that squad. Yes. He's got them motoring. And we need someone at United who's going to do the same thing with that squad of players. But, 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 but who, who is out there for, for, for you, Mark? Who, who would you go for? Like, he goes tomorrow, who do you get in? Well, I mean, all the names thrown about, Amarim, Xavi, you know, Thomas Frank. I, ju- I just think someone who can rally quality players and get them playing and lift morale and, and get the dressing room on his side. I just I just think Ten Hag's a bit he's a bit wooden, isn't he? He's just like <laughs> even his delivery in like press conferences and stuff, he's just you look at Arna Slot, he's just got he's got charisma, he speaks well, he's got the I know, all the albeit Klopp's team was superb anyway, but He's got them ticking in a, in a bit of a different way as well. Mark, um, Mark, we just had a, we, had a, we had a text here from Claudius. He said, Ten Hag has built a squad to win the Dutch Premier League. <laughs> I don't think he'd win the Dutch Premier League with that squad. <laughs> to be oh, honest with you. Yeah, you're, you're, you're probably right. Brilliant call. Thank you very much, Mark. Pard says it's not a penalty, but I'm saying... For me, it's a penalty. At uh, the London Stadium, what do you think? 03717 Right now, and tell us what you think. And also, we'll be hearing from Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta as his side were dragged back from a winning position to draw two all. Do you know what? You know what? I can't work out with Man United fans. You know, we've had various Man United managers over the years. Um, let's, let's talk from Fergie nine, ten, or whatever it is. There's just so, there seems to be no anger about Ten Hag. It, there's almost like a, a sort of apathy around it all that, you know, oh, yeah, he they're says not, the same things. They're not we, we don't win. It, there's not, you know, I can't imagine at another football club it would be like tearing the walls down about the results I, and I lack can't of believe, goals. I know it's still only nine games in, but Man United are sitting in 14th on the same points as West Ham, two points ahead of Leicester and Everton, who are both apparently were in crisis mm. a moment ago. Mm. That's not Man United that I know that would be accepting that. The fans and themselves. Surely, even the board, you go, we're 14th. Nah. Uh, uh, I, know it, I know it's tight. I know the table really is, but they're only two points off Spurs. But like as we, as you mentioned there, you could be a few points off the, the bottom or the top. It's as tight as the championship so far this Premier League season. Get those calls in 03717 Have your say on the final word next. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.